a traitor, Anthony O'Colley, who was arrested by the Department of State Services and detained for 10 weeks, has sued the DSS for N-500M. O'Colley, in a suit filed before the Federal High Court in Asaba, Delta State, by his lawyer, Topa Kinyode, also demanded N-500M from Hanan Buhari, the daughter of the President, Major General Muhammadu, Red, as well as a telecommunications company, Mountain. The suit, with number FHC-ASB-CS-3-2020, is seeking an order to compel the respondents, DSS, Hanan and Mountain, jointly or severally to pay the applicant the sum of N500,000,000 only as general and aggravated damages for the gross and unlawful violation of the applicant's right to acquire movable properties, freedom of movement and self-dignity. The 33-year-old man said in a supporting affidavit that he was arrested on July 19, 2019, in Asaba, Delta State, for using a telephone line that was previously owned by Hunan. According to him, he remained in custody, bound by handcuffs, till September 22, 2019, as the DSS waited for Hunan, who was schooling in the United Kingdom, to come and clear him but she never did. Okali also attached the receipt he was issued after purchasing the SIM card as well as the SIM certificate. The affidavit read in part, that on December 8, 2019, at Ogbiaganogo Market, Nibu Road, Asaba, Delta State, I purchased a SIM card with phone number, 09035666662, for the sum of N1,000 only and I received a SIM pack with accompanying documents as a result as evidence of purchase receipt. That in line with relevant regulations, I approached a kid operator of the third respondent, Mountain, named Jeff, who captured my biometric and registered the SIM card in my name and on my behalf. That in July, 2019, I visited my business associate at his residence in Asaba and saw him being taken away by officers of the first respondent, DSS. During the process, they obtained information from him on who he communicated with last over the phone and my associated announced that it was me. That immediately afterwards, officers of the first respondent, DSS, arrested me and led me to their vehicle, asking me to keep quiet and drove me to their offices in Asaba, Delta, State. That after a while, they disclosed that my arrest was ordered by the presidency and I had to be taken to Abuja for further interrogation on which basis they drove me to Abuja by road the following day. The applicant stated that he explained to the DSS how he bought the SIM card but he was informed that the phone line, which was linked to his SIM card, was once used by Hunan. They thereafter labeled me a criminal for using a phone line that previously belonged to the second respondent, he said. Okali alleged that because of the personality involved, his case file was tagged, first family and he was denied access to his lawyers. The traitor claimed that his mother, who was not allowed to see him, developed high blood pressure while he lost a N5M business deal. He added, they also disclose deal.